Welcome, everyone, to the very first episode of From the Mine, starring me, your boy, Double G392. Now, if you were listening to this, maybe you're wondering why I decided to start a podcast. Well, this is episode one, and it might be the only episode, but I thought it would be a good little stress relief to let you know what's going on in my mind. Um, whether it's good stuff, bad stuff, anxiety, nervousness, which I've been having a lot of recently, and we'll touch on that real quick. Necessarily, nothing's going awful in my life. A lot of things are going really, really good, and we'll touch on those subjects here today. Um, but, you know, a lot of it has to do with this girl I like, but I don't want to really jinx it. I'll just kind of make touching of it or whatnot. That sounded weird. Um, and I'm going to do this podcast very unedited, um, and I kind of, I guess what I want to say, I just wanted to touch on it for a second because, you know, we've gone out twice now at the recording of this video, um, and Everything's been cool. Everything's been different than how my dates would normally go, and I'm very, very intrigued. Now, if you guys know me, I'm very, very um, skeptical of people I bring into my life, especially the women I date, you know, and with her, it's very much everything I would see in a, in a girlfriend, and hopefully it turns into anything, but we're going to get off that subject, because with my luck, I'm going to jinx it, and it's all going to go downhill. And, um, anyway, what else has been going on in my life? Well, one exciting thing is I finally was able to find myself another pair of Jordan 1s. Now, I don't know when or how Jordan 1s got, like, super popular again, but I haven't been able to find them since the start of the pandemic. And one thing I think that might have played a part was the role of TikTok. Um, I also know, you know, wrestling fans know the Young Bucks love their Jordan 1s. But for so many years, I was able to go into any store, whether it was Foot Locker, whether it was Snipes, whether it was Kicks USA at the time, and pick up like one of like seven different pairs of Jordan 1s because I'm a very like old school retro kind of guy. If you ever see like my fashion and my videos and all that, Jordan 1s just fit me. Uh, they're very like an old school hip hop style and I'm mentally maybe still stuck in the late 90s early 2000s when they probably would have been their most popular and they've been like sold out so when I went to Foot Locker last week they had one pair they're I'm wearing them right now I'm looking at them they're white black and like a peach color and it's cool because it made me have to go shop and pick out other outfits because I would have had nothing to match these and I guess it you know, I'm someone that my shirt has to match my shoes and then, you know, I'll figure out what I'm doing for my pants and or shorts and or basketball shorts and or nothing. But, you know, um, so that was kind of cool. Mentioned that I went, you know, clothes shopping as it was. I'm going back to like my my job in the office uh, instead of working from home. I think at the beginning of next month, August, which is going to be exciting because I haven't been in the office in about 15 months. A lot of things have changed in terms of, you know, new employees and all that. So I feel like I'm going to have to reintroduce myself and it might feel like a brand new experience in a weird way. Uh, and I'm excited for that because I'm excited for life to get back to normal because in terms of my life, that was probably the last little puzzle piece that needed to happen was going back to like day to day work and not working from home. Um, I want to, and I've been like really teasing it in my head of going back to my music. I was actually going to either write a song or do this podcast, but the podcast kind of came into my mind first. And I don't know how long this episode is going to be. I guess we could just see how much I'm going to ramble before half you people turn it off or I turn it off on myself. Um, now, when I was at the mall today, I did go into GameStop. I picked up three games, which I'm going to save mentioning until my game pickup video, even though one of them was like a very, very interesting game. And... I don't know why. Actually, you know, all of them. So the only game I'll mention you guys that I got was Untitled Goose Game, right? Because I've been eyeing this game up for a little while now. And it was there. And the other two games I had never heard of. One of them I didn't even expect to ever be a thing in terms of like just idea. So I had to get it. You know, Switch game. Then there was a PS5 game I did pick up that... I, at this point, I'm blanking on the name, but it looked really cool, and it was only $20, so add that to the PS5 collection. Um, and then I came home, and, you know, I attempted to sing. I, I'm low-key thinking of getting a vocal coach just so I learn how to sing again. I've always been told I have a great radio voice, a great rap voice, a great presence in how I do things, and singing is, like, the last thing I need to put on my bucket list in order for me to, I think, fully want to go back to my music, because then I could do, like, that rap R&B thing where I could do my own choruses. And because I've always had ideas for, like, singing choruses, but I don't know any singers that would be able to bring it to life. 
in the way I want to. And, you know, it's almost like, you know, if you can't get anything done, get it done yourself. Uh, when I was younger, I used to be able to sing really, really good. And then I don't know what happened. I guess I just forgot how to use the muscles properly. Because uh, some songs I could sound decent on, but not anything um, that I would want to put out there in the sense of it. If it's not something I would listen to on the radio, I, I don't want to release it to you guys. When I was younger, when I did my music full time, uh, and by full time, I mean because I was like 14 and couldn't work. Um, I would put stuff out that was looking back literal trash just to kind of get my name out there. And, you know, one of my videos is any publicity is good publicity. But that was actually in terms of bad publicity. People learned who I was, but... It wasn't for anything I was kind of proud of. I liked how I wrote back then, but I did not know how to have rhythm. I didn't know how to produce the songs properly. And if I were to remake those songs now, which, I mean, Taylor Swift's doing it, maybe I'll do it and uh, bring my original visions back to life, a.k.a. the strategy. And um, and I want to get back to my music like ASAP because in about a month's time, is the 10 year anniversary of when I released my first album and my only album. So I think it would only be fitting for that to happen. Maybe I'll record and write and do something later on after I finish uh, recording this podcast. Now, a couple things else going on for me right now is saving up for a house. I, you know, bought my condo a couple years ago and I realized just from being home as much as I have over the last 15 months. I'm bored, you know, I'm very much someone who I need to be doing something different every day, I can't be living the same life, and in the condo, you're kind of limited, uh, did I say condo limited, kind of limited, into what you can do, you know, I have a balcony, I have like an outside little deck set, I have a game room, which is where I'm recording this, that has like a mini fridge, mounted TVs, all my games, my bedroom's big, but I would have loved to have like a basement and like a full on yard during this time. And that's kind of my goal, which in case this ever happens again, which I hope it doesn't, you know, for all of our sakes, but I would be a little more occupied. I think I've kind of driven myself a little bit crazy during this time, um, randomly getting sick all the time, uh, anxiousness, anxiety, you know, all things that come from probably living alone and being cooped up with my own thoughts, but I don't see it as detriment. I, I looked at this time as time I got to really get to know myself and get back to basics and get back to what made me me. And, you know, I've made a lot of cool friends during this time. I've reconnected with a lot of friends during this time. So in essence, I think the version of Glenn right now that I am is probably the best version I've been, I don't want to say ever, but in a long time. And I, you know, I always view life as ever evolving. Every day is a new step to do something different. And I'm ready to start making those steps. I always viewed myself as not someone who wanted to work for a company to make my name known, but someone who the companies needed to kind of better themselves, you know, uh, whether that would be like a spokesperson role or just someone who I would have my own brand. I want Double G 392 to be a brand people know, whether it's the streamings, the tea reviews, the, the energy drink reviews, the food reviews, the random rants, I guess this podcast now, if this picks up, but just something different you know so I, I'm someone who I don't think a regular job is particularly for me because I think in a past life I was probably a performer of some sort like I am way too much of a showman to have a desk job in many ways um, and I think that just comes from my personality now there's nothing wrong with people who have desk jobs you know that's what you got to do to make a living and that's what I'm doing to make a living currently but if I could make my platform a little bit bigger for myself It'd be fantastic. You know, I like my job. I like what I do. Um, but I just know deep down I could be doing more. And even if that's just like after work hours, just building my own empire in that sense, right? Um, but, you know, aside from that, you know, life I think is a lot better than it was a year ago. If you guys remember my videos from a year ago, I thought I legit was dying. I thought I was sick with something. I couldn't figure out what it was. I was run down. I was beat up. And I think maybe I was just bored, right? Maybe I was burnt out. Maybe I was just tired of living the same life. And now with the pandemic at that point being in full force, just exhausted, man. Um, and I definitely had lost a part of my personality. I feel like the videos I was putting out, it was just going through the motions. Instead of being me, being my wittiness, which was gone at that point, I, you know, I definitely lost a part of myself that took time to refine. And... Not only refine, but refine, um, because 
I was able to, in a way, relearn everything that made me special. One of my biggest downfalls that I've been told is I do not know how to play to my strengths. Um, I tend to focus on all my negative traits versus everything that makes me unique. Like how good I can cook, how great I can write, how much I can do like decent rap music now. My personality is very outgoing and I can make almost probably anyone smile. Um, but I always focus on beating myself up. But it's also, you know, one of those things where I just always know I can be doing better. It's a little bit of the perfectionist in me, a little bit of the stubbornness in me. But I don't think I've ever been actually an awful person. I've been annoying in very, very many senses. I get sloppy at points. I go off the wall at points. I don't have a happy medium. Uh, I notice with my personality, I'm either one way or the other. But when I'm in a good mindset, I will make your day bright. When I'm in a bad mindset, you won't see me for a while. um, Because I'm usually probably just watching YouTube and uh, wishing I'm doing better for myself and laying in bed and uh, disappearing from the world. It's almost like a mental... uh, mental health day, but it becomes like a mental health, uh, midlife crisis for me sometimes. But you know, I, that's what I guess makes us unique. What makes us human. Um, I don't know really what else, you know, I would want to do on this podcast aside from just rant. I would love to get people on here that we could talk about different things, do different things and just have fun with it. You know, if you guys have any topics as you're listening to this, as you're watching this, Um, and I say watching this because I have to make like a video of it for YouTube to upload, even though it's probably just going to be a black screen. Maybe I'll get a logo. Maybe I'll be cool enough to get entrance music at one point. Um, but you know, I think this would be a cool idea to just kind of give back to you guys, get you guys to know a little bit more about me. Uh, and you know, not the persona that I I put up sometimes when I do my reviews and all that, you know, this will be like that, that actual into the mind, um, experience where you guys can kind of see what I'm thinking, see where I'm getting at and kind of understand me a little bit more because I feel like I get a misconception about myself because some people upon first glance of me think I'm very cocky, which is far from the truth. I just sometimes put up like a shield where it's like you get one version of my attitude because I'm, I don't want to say afraid to get hurt, but like I've been through way too much in my, in my short life at this point. And, uh, You know, I have like a public persona. So this will be like, you know, tearing back on that a little bit and getting to see me just for who I am. And I think it'll be kind of cool. You know, I feel like I'm going to keep this first episode a little short and sweet. It'll be a nice little introduction, let you know where everything's going and kind of what you can look out for. If you guys do think this is a great idea, I guess, you know, continue to listen to the podcast and we'll go from there. It's kind of cool. Um, and I would very much be open to having, you know, some of my viewers on the podcast. We could talk, we could BS, you know, show the world what we can give back to. I don't want this to be full on structured. You know, maybe we'll have a topic we'll hit on. Um, maybe we'll discuss stuff, but I'm not going to have a script to this. I'll have my little bullet points. Uh, right now this about 13 minutes as I've been doing this, I've just kind of been going off the dome, kind of what I said from the mind. Um, and I think it's kind of cool. I think it'll be a nice little breath of fresh air, a nice little down to earth conversation. And, you know, we'll have fun with it. It's not like we don't ever have fun on this channel because we do every video I put up. And also one of the, all right, one of the other main reasons I made this is I've always,